tonight on Big Brother. The boys are feeling fabulous. <laughs> but Big Brother reigns on Wesley's parade. And I, and I don't do that, Big Brother. Um, Wesley. Admittedly, OK. Yeah. And Kane asks the million-dollar question. So what's better, to stay or to pull out? God, I won't stop. Oh it's after 3.30am and Ashley has been up half the night making her carnival costume for this week's task. Stop. 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 She encounters problems when the glitter spray she's using won't turn off. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Covered in glitter. Wesley and Paul are the first up, and they discover Big Brother has provided them with building supplies overnight to construct their parade float. Wow, what a job. That's a massive job. That's a, it's a massive, you're it's a to massive put, thing to you're do. You're going to have to put Ray on hold, mate. Ray's there for the we drive. We two-time him. <laughs> wow. Gosh, well, I'm not directing this, but I'll no, help man, out. Kane will have to have a crack at this one. Jesus. The float's out there. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully they're nearly finished. I can use a power drill. You can? Yep. I can't, but I'll learn. I can paint. Mm. We can paint the float. Yeah. Let them put it together and we can paint. Jeez, Did they spray glitter all around here last night? Everywhere, mate. That's, Ev that's disgraceful. We won't be able to get that office. Well, first time nominated for me this week. I feel I'm ready to go, ready to leave the house, ready to face what I was probably running away from, which is why I came in here in the first place. Um, I think all my life, men in my life, have um, made decisions for me. Um, and being in here, I've had to stand on my own two feet, make my own decisions, and what's funny is, as with nominations, I've had to make my own decisions, not allowed to talk to anybody about it, and just come in here, do what I had to do, all by myself. So, yeah, I've, I've come a long way. Very proud of myself, yeah. I think they're worse than my little kids, those boys out there. The squealing, you know, I used to be at home and hear the squealing, Asher's squealing. You know, my little Kiara squealing, I think it's just going to make me a lot more patient, <clears throat> I'm hoping, with my kids. Um, really, I think they're going to see a Catherine that can really stand on her own two feet and make decisions for herself. But for my kids, probably more a patient mum and a more loving mum. Not that I wasn't loving, but, yeah, really appreciate just the little things that they do a lot more. Yeah. Holy... Put on your Aqua Star shirt and give us a parade. This is a huge moment, mate, all right? <laughs> give us silence, please. Paul has designed and made a shirt as part of his costume. I hope it's all out of shape. I've got to get my head in the bloody thing yet. Don't say that, Ryan. Oh, no. At least you didn't sew over the head. Oh, mate, yeah. that is sensational. Oh, Holy damn. shit. Damn. <laughs> That's a wicked job. <laughs> That's my first T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's really good, Paul. Really good. I was up to about four o'clock in the morning doing my hat. I reckon. There. Were you up really late last night? I didn't get to sleep till about three thirty. Probably. Can you hear about the glitter thing in the backyard? The spray wouldn't go off, like it got stuck on. And so she's out back throwing it around <laughs> four o'clock in the morning by herself in the house trying to get it to stop. I thought it was going to blow up. It just kept on spraying. It Imagine. wouldn't stop. 
Were you and screaming? so I was smashing it on the floor and then glitter was coming out everywhere and I didn't I couldn't even oh, stop no, it. This is Big Brother. Wesley to the diary room. Oh shit. Yeah, Wesley. Oh you know what that's about, don't you? You pants. Oh, yeah. I reckon I'm gonna get called in next, put it that way. Wesley and Merlin stayed up into the early hours discussing Merlin's nomination and were warned their chat may have breached the rules. Wesley. Yes. Early this morning, you had a conversation with Merlin in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Merlin said to you, do you reckon you can pick who nominated me? You said, I wouldn't want to say it because he wouldn't vote someone on a particular event. Obviously, Paul comes to mind. Big Brother has repeatedly warned housemates not to discuss the nominations process and at the same time discuss individual housemates. Certainly. And, 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 I, and I don't do that, Big Brother. Um, Wesley. Admittedly, OK. Yeah. As you are aware, it's a fundamental rule of Big Brother that nominations remain secret. Certainly. By breaching this rule, you have potentially given yourself an advantage over your housemates. You've let them down. I'm awarding you one strike for discussing your nominations. Mm -hmm. I remind you that any housemate who was awarded three strikes faces early eviction from the Big Brother house. Certainly. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Merlin. Merlin to the diary room. Merlos. Bad? Oh, I can't talk to you until you come out. <laughs> You're in there for ages, I'm not confident. Oh, I just had a bit of a bit of a chat, a bit of an argument. Not There's an argument. A bit of a debate going on in there. Debate, yeah. What was it about last night? Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? I got a strike. Oh, did you? Yeah, I won down. Talking last night. Mm. What did nominations? you? Oh, I don't think it's fair because we were, we were like discussing so openly and generally. About his situation again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, with nomination being talk of the day yesterday, mm. and we never once mentioned, any... mentioned names and who we thought or no, anything but... like that, but we sort of, like, you know, we never... Oh, jeez, I reckon it's harsh, eh? Merlin. Discussing who nominated who is against the rules. I'm awarding you one strike. Thank you. Here he is. Strike one. Strike one. <laughs> Join the club. That's not right. How weird is it when they read back whole conversations to you? I know, isn't it and crazy? they're like, and then you said, blah blah blah, like blah blah like, and they put yeah. in like um, yeah, like they put in the saying. ums and like um, and like uh, that, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. And you said that. Properly. They fit too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for rising! Oh, mate. That's great. But when I sew those together, Allen, oh, that's going to come across out. like that. No, that'll come across. Yeah, that's still having their dinner tomorrow night. That'll be all right. Oh, 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 rock on, mate. Rock oh, on. God. A pair of chaps. Yeah, don't you reckon? <laughs> chaps, 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 chaps. Mills, do you want me to sew some for you? You look like a gypsy. I see you're going to be single for the whole time you are on this earth. <laughs> this you will be cats. part of a gang part that of harass them. women. <laughs> yeah, that's already come true. Now what? I, how oh. I <laughs> Where are you going, Mars Bar? Oh, <laughs> yeah! I'm going out like that. And as usual, his undies are hanging out the back. They took me a while, but they've paid off. Because Frizy's ready to disco. Go, Merls. Merlos! Merls. Oh, they don't take Mate. that long. Oh, great. They don't take that long to say, really. That uh -huh. took us, what, three Maybe hours? Three hours, yeah, all that. And we've still Not got two days better left. to do. Mm. <laughs> it's great, Paul. You long? Mm. Paul has decided to make an Aboriginal flag for the float. It is a really nice flag. Oh, should be our, should be our flag, I reckon. We can't though, because we're part of the Commonwealth, hey? 
Have we got to have yeah, the union, Jack? Yeah, you know, we've got to become a um, republic. Republic before we can change the flag. Yeah, and that bloody time we did. Bloody Joe. Why should we serve the Queen? Tell me that. Come on, <laughs> come on. Excellent. Doesn't it? One yeah. Aboriginal flag. Go poorly. Wow. Should have been an artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. His, his big brother. In the spirit of Rio's carnival, the housemates will perform the salsa. Big brother plays them a video to get them off on the right foot. <laughs> <laughs> Go for Ozzy. Go it's a few Rick twirly in. whirlies, a little drop back, a little knee back. Go. And that's it. <laughs> oh, oh, it. Oh. Merlin and Terry try out the float for size. Come on, share. Share the funniness. Now we're just talking about your dance. Friday! Paige and I thought I saw it. Fully! So funny, eh? Hey? Is that funny? And then he said, me and Trevor just know it. And we just keep high-fiving each other about it. We haven't told him. We haven't told him. <laughs> I mean, we know you say. Who's yeah. the most blatant stare I've ever seen? Yeah. Up and down for that long, mate. He's just going, oh, yeah. He loves it. <laughs> you can't give me that. Oh, yeah, I was just doing it, huh? Chill, 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 chill. Ready? Yeah, for 12. You twirl, you twirl. Sleep like this. Yeah. And we're in and out, Rosie. Yeah. Okay. Kiss, kiss. Oh, my kiss? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ready? Ready? Oh, I'm there, I'm there. Okay, drop me, drop me, drop me.
the main leader was a little bit corrupt. And gold medal for Australia goes to Wesley. Du, 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 du. Wesley designed an Australian flag to go alongside Paul's Aboriginal flag on the float. Go and put it next to the Aboriginal one, mate. Whereabouts is that? Straight ahead. <coughs> yeah, definitely. I'll do that. Come on then, you would. It's a beautiful flag. It's much better than ours. Ours is too pommy. I, I know ours is good and we fought for it, but it's very pommy related. We're Australia, mate, and we have got the English flag in our flag. Mm. And it's only because we're not a republic, and that That's will it. change next time that it is to vote. No. Nah. Oh, mate, be how much do you want to bet? Yeah. But you've got to realise there is still a lot of traditional Australian older people that vote, mate, and they. Yeah, and there's a massive youth. Massive. That, and that, like, so that's like you say, everyone protesting against war with Bush. There was all, millions and millions of people across the world that protested. But, mate, I'll give you the hot there tip. There's twice Australia. as many that agree that they should have gone to war. There that was not Bush. twice as many. Or not twice as many, but just as many, mate. Like... Mate, there and are that's, that's no the older right. population right. that are right the somewhere, traditionalists. Yes. Not to believe no. in. Oh, no one can say yes or no. Yeah, we don't know. If there was more people protesting against war, do you reckon he would have gone and still done it? I reckon if you had a national vote about should should Australians have gone to the Middle East and fought in Iraq, I reckon they wouldn't have gone. Could easily turn into another Vietnam, mate. They can't get out. They've yeah. promised that they will restore calm yeah. in a country that they cannot restore calm in, mate, mm. because there is so much hatred for Americans and Australians. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, man, like, they can't get out, in the mate. same situation in Iraq for 15 yeah. years. And to me, mate, if they pull out, they've lost. Yeah. Mm. My hand. And they don't want to do that, and they don't want to well, do that. Of course they don't want to do I mean, it, because no, it's another right. Vietnam, then. If they pull out of where they are now, yeah. do you think everything will be resolved? No. But no. chaos no, no. Well, what's better, to stay or to pull out? They have to stay now. Good night, Australia. They have to stay and probably lose. Exactly. Well, then there shouldn't be an argument if they're about staying or leaving. They should either stay no, or they should have started before that. I know that. I know that. I'm saying, I'm, I'm with you there too, but I'm saying it's where true. it is now. Yeah, but the UN we should support to what's happening home. now. Well, if there was absolutely no, no threat to Australia. I know, there's, we got I know there's no threat to before Australia. Before we got involved. But all I'm no saying threat. is what would happen to our country if we didn't go to this? And but you've got to think about it. Maybe nothing. No, nah, you, you can't say that, Bali? mate. Because you can't what about say Bali? that. Prevention. That was a threat to Australia. Exactly. That's right, because we're involved in the Afghanistan war. Mate, look at look at what Saddam Hussein and his, look at what he's passed. Look at the things he's done. Yeah, but that's got nothing to do oh, with us. Well, that's exactly the same thing, mate. It's exactly the same thing. It's all about terrorists and it's all about taking out Americans, mate. But the it's fact has been his goal for years. But Kane, Kane, what you have to remember? Good night. No. Sorry, Forty years ago in America. Uh, African Americans had to sit at the Are back of the bus. Right? Like, let's not take the moral high ground here, man. You look at Australia's history, you look at America's history, we're no angels, man. Like the trees and the ocean, it was just yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one we had last year was the whole upper level was amazing. They are full on arguing now in the kitchen. Oh, are they? About politics? Yeah, about... it's still about the war oh, and still about stuff. And I just wouldn't so actually just sitting in the middle of it going. <laughs> are when, what really? are you doing still sitting here? <laughs> Yeah, they're like Fizey and, and Merlin are arc arcing up now, and oh, I was like, oh, oh, I'm so glad I left. Yeah, boring. <laughs> Can I just say one thing in conclusion? If you ask me, there's a lot of vested interest and there's a lot of personal issues that are clouding good judgment and good politics and fair politics. Well, I find it interesting personally because for me, being 20 years old, this is the first war that I can remember. I don't remember the Gulf War. You know, mm. I don't remember Maybe Vietnam. So Maybe this is my first learning experience. So, and it's good hearing well, people's I remember the Gulf as War as very well. And I don't. So mm. that's why it's interesting to be a part of this. Yeah. Because I think we're at a very... I'm, and we I'm are at a very interesting you. age where we're going to see a completely different world to what our parents saw. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> make a decision. At bedtime, Trevor's up to his old tricks. Just turn the lights off. It's only Rhino. Turn the lights off. Come on. Turn them off, big brother. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Trev wins. <laughs> Oh, my God.
All right, you lot. Good night. Good night. And Sweet dreams. And I will see all your little ugly heads in the morning. <laughs> Tomorrow on Big Brother, Terry's task, tyranny. Because if I'd done it last night, I would have had it the way I wanted it. <laughs> Put it on your bloody mouth and shut your neck. <laughs>